still doing some scraping. I think I'm still going to take it down a little bit more. I want to get that as, at least on the sides and the back as wide as I can get it without uh, without many lines in it. So, Well, there we've got it scraped and sanded and kind of polished down. I uh, might do a little more to it, but I think that's that's basically that's going to be pretty finished. Uh, other than I'm going to put a design on the handle. I noticed some of the ones I've seen pictures of, they've got a design on the handle. So uh, at this point, it's it's ready to use. Other than we don't have the the flint scraper in yet. So uh, we'll go ahead and start working on the on the scraper. Well, we're ready to make the scraper. I'm just going to show you kind of an idea what we're going to try to make something like this. We want something with the notches on both sides. It'll probably this one's going to need to be maybe half inch or so longer, just a, a touch narrower on the base. But that's what we're that's what we're going to work on. Pretty good spot. We'll not we'll go ahead and knock three or four of them off, and and we'll pick the best one. Well, we got a couple of decent spalls here. I'm going to go ahead and start working these down, and we'll see what it looks like after I worked it a little bit. I'm not going to show show all of that. Uh, basically, I'll rough it in, and we'll just kind of final it up from there. And we're way big. It's kind of. I'm only needing a piece. The scraper's going to end up only being like that long. Maybe not even quite that long. Maybe about that long. So I've got a pretty good size, but we'll keep working it down. We've got a little curve to it, so by the time I take this take this tip off, we're going to give it pretty close because it's got a pretty pretty main mean curve. But we'll keep thinning it. We're we're, all, we're we're about thin enough, probably just a little bit more, and then we'll just start shaping it and get it in the shape that we want. Well, we've got it pretty pretty thin at this point. Uh, I think what we're going to do now. Is I'm just going to go ahead and start rough shaping it, and I'll get back with you. Okay, I think we're going to put that away. We're pretty close. See, we've got a pretty good, pretty good bevel on there right now. Get the 
scraper. You can see we've got a little ways to go. We need to shape the shape the base up. Let me turn that around. See how that's going to sit on there. We probably could still lose a little bit on the end, but uh, we'll put some notches on both sides. Probably thin this down just a little bit more. Put a notch on both sides so that'll hold it in there good. And then we're pretty close to having our scraper done. There we're pretty close to having that pretty close to having that notch to good. And we'll shape it a little more. And we've got it <coughs> and we've got it shaped pretty good. Now all I'm gonna do is gonna finalize the bevel on the outside and all I'm doing is putting it on a just a leather pad and taking it right along the edge and just pushing straight down. And just driving a little a little flake off but the flakes not going in the flakes going straight down and then kind of cleaning up on both sides of where I'm drawing them just a little more beveling a little more just right in here and we got this done well, there's our there's our finished scraper. If that'll show up in there, but you can see the the bevel that we've got on there. Got a good good bevel, and that's set up now. That I mean, it you can scrape that uh, that flesh will scrape off the off the hide the way that that's set up. We'll go ahead and soak a little rawhide. I think I'm going to go ahead and use rawhide and we'll get that lashed lashed on there. And... Alright, we got the the flit scraper and the antler it's all ready to to mount on there. I put a few grooves in the back just for the rawhide to maybe grab uh, grab onto a little bit when I wrap it on there, but we'll put it in there and start wrapping. Got my rawhide already already soaked. Not sure how much I need, but I've got a little extra, so we'll start a wrapping. Gonna make sure I get it centered with that first first strap and start. Put that on there. I'm trying to pull that as as tight as I can each time I loop it around there. It's gonna when it dries, of course, it's gonna it's gonna tighten up some more. Now I'll just do a Probably gonna loop it under there, under there twice, and then pull it up tight. And we'll cut that off. There we go. We got that pulled up there tight. Now we'll just uh, get a little piece of flint here, and we'll go ahead and cut that off real quick. There we go. Got it nice and uh, nice and tight. Now we'll just let that uh, let that dry, and we'll work on the handle. Do a little etching. Okay, we're gonna start. We got a, got just a couple pieces of flint here. We're gonna start with. 
we'll break more off as it as we need to sharpen it but I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna engrave some lines space them out maybe an inch or so and then we're just gonna do a cross hatch on each one so I'll get started and, and show you what I've got Well, there's the finished finished scraper. I've got all the design put on the on the back. Uh, I probably could have filmed some more of the design, but I kept working on it and wanted to get it get it finished up. So anyway, that's uh, the finished flint head uh, elk antler scraper. I think it'll work pretty good. I'll give it a try this this spring when I get my deer hides on. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching.